Good job, partner. What's cooking? Hey, Gris. Cooking up a storm in here. Our partner just confirmed the match matches our current holding cell celebrity, Ed. So there's evidence of Ed Danville both inside and outside of the cab. Coincidence? Could be. I've seen stranger things happen. And we've got a few other leads. So what exactly did Ed light up with that match? We'll find out. First of all, we'll see if he smokes. And I don't even care what. Later, Chris. Print belongs to a Randall Watchy, a convicted pedophile. Hold on a minute. Records show Randall was put away a month back. I don't figure he was catching calves from his cell block. Hey, what's up? He's on his way to interrogation now. Who and where? Slow down, my brother. Take a step back before you go blaming that on me. I took a cab a couple of days ago, Saturday, I think. But I didn't ask the guy his name. Maybe it's your guy, maybe it ain't. We found a used match with your print on it in the cab. So maybe it is the cabbie who got burned. But so what? I smoke him when I got him. But what's that mean in the great scheme? Now that is harsh. I do odd jobs for cash. I can afford the occasional ride. Anyway, those lesbos, pardon my French, they were climbing all over each other. And not in a good way. Liz, she was all pissed off at Deb for God knows what and raving on about needing a cleansing. Next thing, Liz is lighting some pagan ritual fire that got way the hell out of hand and damn near burned the neighbor's fence down. Anyway, I tried to help put the thing out, and for my trouble, got Liz climbing all over my ass, also not in a good way. She said, get out, get the hell out of here, all freaked out, and man, I got... This cab was on the corner, and I just grabbed it and told the cabbie, stop at the nearest bar. The random room, it's called. Oh, round four, maybe five. Closer to five, I think. When do you think? When Miss Pyromaniac 1999's fire got out of control. That broad is brutal, man. She is out there. I can spare a few for the cause. Hey, like I said, you don't have to have a 9 to 5 to be a good citizen. But if you find burn patches, remember, I was playing Citizen's Fire Brigade for that hot les. No, that's everything. So, when do I check out of that holding cell and get back to my windmill, my brother? We'll get back to you. Good match. Record of fire-related misdemeanors, most recently fire damage to her neighbor's fence. This places our friendly neighborhood fire goddess in the cab sometime before the fire. This puts Ed at the crime scene. Of course, he already told us he was there distributing flyers.
Not yet. Check back. Direct evidence of Liz inside of the cab. Both ladies a possible source of turpentine, and the cabbie's history adds fuel to the fire. Well, that's nothing to call the media about. I just got tired of that character haunting our house and making a wreck out of Deborah. So I climbed in that cab and asked for a ride over to the nearby strip mall. And on the way, I really tore him a new one. Said if he didn't leave us alone, I'd get a restraining order on his pasty white ass. Then the a-hole flares up and his eyes pop out and his veins stick out and he's spewing all kinds of vile, foul crap at me. Turns out lezzies like me are ruining this great country. All the while, he's still driving, but his eyes are on me in the rearview mirror, and now he's going about 50. So I wait for him to run out of steam, and then calmly tell him, I will call the cops if he doesn't stop the car. I'm digging into my purse for my cell at the time. So he slams on the brakes and pulls over and throws open the door and tosses my butt right out onto the pavement, which must have been when and how I lost those matches, right? Anyway, he roars off and leaves me in a rough neighborhood, thank you very much. You know, I'm not sure. Six, maybe? Or nine, or ten, maybe? You can try to squeeze me into your timetable all you want, champ. But the inconvenient truth is, I didn't torch that bastard. I have an artistic penchant for fire imagery, but that doesn't make me a pyro or a killer. I said before, Ed's been helping us out with my, uh, our fire temple. What, you think I'm the only artist in Vegas who uses that brand? Based on what? Let me see that thing. Ah, hell with it. Just get it done so I can get back to it. Man, <laughs> can't get used to that high-class handle for Freeborn. But, uh, anyway. Yes, sure. Ed was around all during the time Bob was making an ass of himself around us. And he also mentioned a cab driver he handed a flyer to lost it when he saw Deborah's picture. Later, Ed confirmed our stalker was the same guy. Oh. Well, it's not like I marked it on the calendar. About two weeks ago? No, he didn't like the guy's nonsense any better than we did. Loudmouth bully and bigot. Ed sort of laid back, but for him, he was pissed all right. two lesbians, and one used condom. How exactly does that add up? This is important evidence. Be sure and check all sides for Trace. Nice work. Swabbing this condom inside and out should give us two sets of DNA, thanks to body fluids from both partners. You don't need one, far as I'm concerned. Go for it. Nothing to hide here. How did you guys find out about that? Liz, I suppose. Listen, you want to know something about me? Ask me. We went out a couple times back in high school. He seemed like a nice guy at first, before the real Bob started coming out. Freaking racist, flaming homophobe. 
Back then I hadn't come to terms with my, uh, sexual orientation, but I knew Nazi talk when I heard it. I dumped Bob's bigoted butt like the day before prom. And let's just say he didn't take it well. But you know, that's ancient history, right? Only some people never quite drag themselves out of high school, huh? Anyway, maybe two weeks ago, he must have got hold of one of our flyers because he started calling me. First he pretended to be nice and asked me out, for old times sake, you know? And that's when you let him know about your sexual orientation? Not at first. I just tried to let him down easy. Said I was in a long-term committed relationship. And then he snaps. His voice all different, sarcastic, nasty as hell. And he says, what, with some dyke? So he knew all along about Liz and me. Maybe Ed told him. Maybe Ed handed him a flyer. You'd have to ask Ed about that. And then the call started. Obscene, abusive, nightmare abuse. And I had his calls blocked. And then he kept driving up and down past my house in his cab. It was awful, really disturbing. I was scared half to death. You bet your ass I did. Not that it did any good. I guess you people don't think it's harassment when somebody like me gets hassled. Actually, we do. Of course, you don't need our help now. He won't be hassling you again, will he? So that's what I get for being honest with you people? So that's what you do with a victim like me? You make me out a suspect. Well, maybe I'm not shedding any tears for Bob, but I had nothing to do with what happened to him. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but after I dumped him back in high school, he'd corner me in the hall and harp about the money he spent on prom. The limo, the rented tux, the corsage, how I owed him. So I thought, pay him off, pay him back. So I go out to that cab and say, how much to get you the hell out of my life? He says, not for a million bucks, baby. I say, I'll give you $500 to just go away. And he says, done. And I did. And then he kept coming around anyway. Same kind of matchbook we found in the cab. Minus the soot. I don't know. Neighbor kids who sneaked in for a quickie? I mean, that structure is in our backyard. Could be anybody. But me or Deborah, of course. Well, I wouldn't like you to. You can't do that without some kind of warrant, right? That shouldn't be hard to get. You want to look good in this thing? I'd start cooperating. What a charmer you are. <laughs> yes, yes. Go ahead. A man's got to do what a man's got to do. Or so I hear. Okay, we got lucky and located some security cam footage from a business along our roasted cabbie's route. Sarah will have it for you in the lab. Hey guys, your hunch paid off. Here's a hunk of reality TV that you're gonna really get into. There might be visual evidence on this tape. Play the video to watch the whole thing. Then, use the controls to look frame by frame. If you find a frame that reveals new evidence, you can click to enhance it. Hello! Check out that poncho design. We've seen that before. Remember? Nice going, partner. <laughs> 